Hey there, Samidian here, and welcome back to Morrowind. The last time, we obtained the Moon and Star Ring, the symbol of Lord Nerevar and his house, and we got our next task directly from Daedra Lord Azura herself. We need to have three houses, name us Hortator, and four tribes, name us Nerevarine. Well, we got the gimme out of the way. We got this guy here at the Urshalaku camp to name us the Nerevarine. So we just need three more tribes and three great houses. Um, as mentioned last video, now that we are fulfilling the proper the prophecies proper, people are starting to take notice. So the a lot of people don't like that, namely the Tribunal Temple and those loyal to the Tribunal Temple, such as House Redoran. What this means is I can't get services from any of those people. Those people don't like me much anymore. I don't think anyone is outright hostile to me. I think. But I'm not going to take any chances. Instead, I'm just going to continue doing the main quest for a few days. Work on that until we reach the point where the Tribunal Temple no longer is mad at us anymore. Which is going to be a, a bit, I'm pretty sure. So, let's start with the Great Houses, since I know where they are. Don't have to go wandering around in the middle of bumfuck nowhere finding the Ashlander camps. And what better place to start with than with the group that completely hates us, House Redoran. So the Redoran counselors all live here in Aldrun, which I will get to as soon as the game loads. There we go. I love ash storms. Haven't I? So they live in this giant ass crab shell over here. And I'm not entirely sure who I need to talk to here. This is the manor district. Uh, hello. Uh, I would like to become the Nereverine. You're the one they claim fulfills the Nereverine prophecies. Then you are a heretic, as the temple says, and you can expect no welcome from House Redoran. Yeah, Redoran's not Speak a fan of that. So let me see if I can find someone who will talk to me about becoming Hortator. You look important. Uh, tell me about the Redoran Counselors. The Redoran Counselors among the most distinguished and honored of Dunmer and Morrowind. Here, perhaps you'd like to review a recent edition of the Red Book of Great House Redoran. It lists the current Redoran Counselors and their residences. Okay, I'm listening. All right, so I got a book that tells me the name of the Redoran Counselors and their residences. So we've got the Archmaster, he's probably not going to help us. Minor, Aerobar, Larin, Ramarin, Brara, Morvain, Athan, Serethi, Garissa, Lothari, and then here's some other stuff. So those are five the five counselors, I Don't think. Don't tempt fate, citizen. Yeah, calm down. So I guess we'll go speak to them one by one and see which of them would like to uh, assist us. Okay, Outlander, but make it quick. Sharia Lightfoot, false incarnate agent of the Emperor, outlaw, unbeliever. House Redoran knows how to deal with Outlanders like you. Okay, so she doesn't like me very much, but she's not the one in charge, so I don't care about what she thinks. Is this person in their bedroom? Private quarters. Uh, I've got better things to do, so if you don't mind, let's move this along. This is the right person, right? No, Garissa Lothari. I don't care about you. You're not the person that I seek. Are you Garissa? Watch your no. Back, yeah, I get it. 
you don't like me. I'm a Telvanni, and I'm also a a heretic. I get like I get it. I understand. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Garissa. I would like to become Hortator. The Hortator is a war leader chosen by the councilors of a great house. Why do you ask? How is one chosen? Only the Redoran councilors can choose a Hortator for House Redoran, and it must be unanimous. The Hortator's duty is defined by ancient custom, but in essence, a Hortator is a house champion who must be skilled in combat and known for courage and honor. Well, I'm skilled in combat. Don't know about courage and honor. Hortator is more a chief hero than a general. The Council's plan and approved strategy. It's a terrible system. The legions aren't like that. The generals ignore the politicians and win the wars, but a Hortator leads by doing. The champion who wins every battle and inspires by example. The hero who challenges and defeats the opposing hero in single combat. Doesn't have to be polite or smart or even a nice person. Just has to win and make others want to win. So can you choose a Hortator? A Hortator is chosen by consensus. Everyone has to agree. A single no is a veto. First, a great house has to choose a Hortator. Then, that Hortator has to go persuade the other great houses to agree to name him Hortator of their houses, too. So, can I be confirmed as Hortator? That's ridiculous. If you were my friend or someone important, I might listen to your nonsense. Varel Sela says you're an Imperial spy and a pretender. What if I was your friend? We're friends now. I want to get you to a hundred. Yeah, there we go. How do you expect anyone to believe such a story? All this about prophecies and reincarnated heroes and Daedra lords appearing in caves. I've also heard that you are an Imperial spy. But enough talk. I judge a man by his actions and I don't know much about yours. I will speak with the other counselors, but that is all that I will promise. What an unexpected surprise. Please go ahead, Outlander. Okay, so this guy seems like he would be okay with it if the other counselors agree, and if I show that I am an honorable blah 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 blah, so let's go find a different person to talk to at a different manner. Serethi manner, okay, who's the Serethi one? Uh, Athen. Athen Serethi. That's you. Uh, I would like to become the Red Ran Hortator. You have told a remarkable story. It has the ring of truth. You may have been deceived, but I believe you. I may be able to persuade other counselors to believe you as well, but as a condition of my support, I require a favor. I issue my son, Favor Serethi, from Venom Manor. Okay. Yes, my son. He's being held in Venom Manor, which is the first manor to your right when you enter Scar. I have heard Bellum Venom is keeping him in the right wing of his manor. You must be careful not to kill Bolin Venom. Himself or the other counselors will turn against you. Alright. I've got better things to do, so. So this guy will vote for us if we rescue his son. Sounds easy enough. Let's go do that. So, Venom Manor is the first manor to your right when you enter Scar. This is Scar, so What's that would be that back, one. Delvani. Holy crap, everyone hates me. I've got 89 personality. So, we're in the Venom Manor, and we need to go to the right wing. And find the sun. I'm listening. Go ahead. Malsa, keep our special guest in the room behind the tapestry. Make sure the door is locked and that he is under guard at all times. If he escapes, I will blame you, V. Hmm. Door behind the tapestry, you say. Lock level 50, you say. Well, I could just steal this key, or... I mean, I could do this. Let me quick save because stealth in this game is weird. Hello. Did my father send you? Are you here to rescue me? Should we travel together back to Serethi Manor? He's the one who had me secretly arrested. I think he was going to use me against my father. I'd stay away from him if I were you. 
Okay, let's travel together. Actually, wait here. So I can't kill the man. Can't kill the counselor, but the guards, on the other hand, I guess are collateral damage. I'll save real quick. Save real quick, get my, uh, this one. Okay, let's go. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to kill some guards on the way out. You will die! I have you! There is no escape! Surrender your life to me and I will end your pain! Not much of a help in a fight, are you? Okay, so she's got some cool Dwemer equipment that is too heavy for me to give a shit about. Take your gloves. Take your shirt. Take your pants. No, you can keep the pants. Okay. I think we're gonna need to kill more guards on the way out, but... As long as we don't kill the counselor himself, it should be fine. Yeah, having a paralysis sword is really, really useful. You have the same stuff as the other person. Oh, except you have good pants. I'm going to keep your pants. I like your pants. And the way out is through the front door. Can you, like, sneak? Crouch down? No. I think that's all the guards I'm going to need to kill. Just three guys, just a little bit of collateral damage. You know what? You know how it is. Mind your tongue, Delvani. What? Is it locked? Is it nighttime? It is nighttime. Okay. We're just gonna sit outside this door for twelve hours. Hello, I saved your son. Mind your tongue, Delvani. Thank you. Yes, my son, Varvar Sarethi, you have returned him to me, and I am in your debt. You have rescued my son, and I am forever in your debt. You rescued my son. Words cannot express my gratitude. Therefore, I name you Hortator of House Redoran. I also promise that I will use my influence with the other councils of House Redoran. Alas, there is one obstacle. Bolvin Venom will never name an outlander Hortator, but if you have the full support of the council, he may agree to an honorable duel. A duel is an honorable tradition dating back at least to the founding of Resdane. Each party to the duel makes an agreement as to the compensation that will be given to the winner. The loser is legally bound to this agreement. Most duels are fought until one party admits defeat or falls in battle. A duel to the death is less common and only ends when one party is dead. A winner of a duel may take what he wants of the loser's possessions, but some consider this dishonorable. Okay, so once I have the full support of the council, Bolvin Venom will probably agree to duel me and I can kill him and then I'll become the Hortator. If any other counselor were killed or murdered, the other counselors would refuse to name you Hortator, but Venom is tyrannical and unjust, and if you were to die in a duel or a fair fight, no counselor could find dishonor in it. I guarantee it. In fact, if Venom dies an honorable death, I promise I will continue to plead your case with the other counselors. Okay, tell me about the other ones. Since the Morian Manor has been overrun, Mrs. Morvane stays in the Redoran Counselor Hall, speak with her there, and get her support. Okay. Garissa Lethiri will be in Lethiri Manor, the last manor on your left as you enter Scar, between the Redoran Council Hall and my own home. It may be difficult to win his support, but you will have to speak with him and find out what he asks in return. Okay. 
Ramoran Manor is between my home and the entrance to Scar. He has a temper, especially with foreigners, but he trusts my judgment. I believe I can convince him to support us. You must speak with Minor Erobar. His manor is the last on your right as you enter Scar between the Redoran Council Hall and the Morang Tong Guild Hall. Andres Narano is a Hlalu noble who lives in Valmora. Go there and stop his slanders about Bolvin Venom? What? I feel like this is a Redoran quest that I'm not supposed to be hearing about. Okay. Well, we've got one down and we've got four to go. Four to convince. Or one, two, three three to convince, and then murder. Alright, so who are we talking to in here? Florin Remoran. Is that you? No. I've got better things to do, so if you don't mind. Hello, I'm looking for the leader of the bunch. Out of the way. If I were the leader of this place, where would I be? Probably in the private quarters. I am Florin Ramoran, Lord of West Gash and Counselor of House Redoran. Who exactly are you? Um, I'd like to become the Hortator. Athens Serethi has spoken of your good judgment, and I trust him. I will vote for you as Hortator of House Redoran. Alright. Easy enough. Two down. So next we should go to the person that we talked to first, the Lothari person. He said if the other counselors agreed, he would trust their judgment. But he might want me to show my worth first. Keep a civil tongue, Gabai. Uh, yeah. I spoke with Athens Serethi. I like what he told me about you. You get things done and show good judgment. Your story is crazy, but your story doesn't matter to me as long as you can do something about Dagathur and his servants. I'm making you my choice for Hort's tour of House Redoran. Cool. I guess you didn't need me to prove my worth. I guess rescuing that guy's son was good enough. Keep a civil tongue. 45 athletics. I like that. Apparently this manor is overrun and she's in here somewhere. Or there was another manor that was overrun. I don't remember. Who am I talking to in here? What's your I don't remember who I'm looking for in here. Masera. You see before you a Mur wore down by his sorrows, for I've been most cruelly betrayed by a Mur I once held almost as dear as my own father. My patron has forsaken me, and I am in lost. My muse is silent now, where once I lived in a garden of blooming ideas. Now my inner mind is as barren as these blighted ashlands. What am I to do? I thought House Remoran the best of Mur, not a poet, but delicate of spirit, a discerning audience for my work. Alas, I was completely taken in. I was given a recital of my latest work here in the hall, a stirring ballad about a recent battle in which several of our valiant warriors bravely fell. The audience was in raptures. I could see it in their eyes. Then he snatched the notes out of my hands and sent them all away. The next thing he, I knew, he was telling me he could no longer be my patron, traitor. It's very dark in here. Perhaps some more light would help. What does that mean? What are you, my mother? She doesn't understand it either. The night is a poet's domain. I do my best thinking in the dark, but you're only trying to help in your way, I suppose. I don't mean to be churlish. I'll light a lamp for a while. There, are you happy now? What? <laughs> I 
I don't remember who I'm looking for in here. Where am I? I'm so lost. Mind your tongue, sir. That gal looks familiar. Hello. Spit it out or hit the road. What? What do you mean I violated the law? Here's thirty six gold. Did I just... What did I just lose? Oh, I lost my helmet. I lost my clothes. Okay. Uh, that's a problem. I just lost a lot of good things. I'm reloading this autosave. What? What law did I break? Do I have a bounty here? I do have a bounty. I guess I did something while breaking this guy out? Mind, Mind your tongue, Delva. I mean, I can fix this. Are you here? Follow me. Why is this not triggering now? Speak, traveler. Keep a civil tongue. Okay, Outlander, but make it quick. How have I broken this? How did I manage to break this quest? Because I reloaded a save? Surely not. Mind your tongue, Delvani. Mind okay, your tongue, works. Sarah. Yeah, I rescued your son. You're gonna name me Hortator. Tell me about all these things. Tell me about all the people. Okay. I'm going to save again. Uh, I can fix this. I just need to head to a th the Thieves Guild. They can get rid of a bounty on my head without getting rid of the stolen goods, I'm pretty sure. So I'll go do that real quick. The bounty had to be from something I did in breaking him out. Maybe stealing the key. Maybe somebody noticed that. I don't know if... Every Thieves Guild I've got rid of it. has someone that can get rid of a uh, bounty, or if it's only what do you want? the Balmora one. Price on my head. There are those that can take care of that. We can explain more to you about that later. I think you're a thief because you've stolen my heart. Those people go crazy. What is yes, this, Outlander? What may I do it for you? It might... There's a price on your head. There are a few people who can make it go away. In Balmora, talk to Fainrian. In Aldrin, it's Tongue Toad. Sadrith Mora, Residia. And you should speak to Crazy Legs, Ara Tenmo, and Vivek. These are the people who can take care of those nasty bounties for a price. Okay, so Tongue Toad. Welcome. Please don't be shy. I'm listening. Where Tongue Toad? Friend. Do not fear. What's your I story? You. Where is this person that can get rid of my bounty Walk here? Tongue to Well, I'm listening. I'm so listening. go ahead. What does go ahead. Plasma need? Such fine company. One Hello. Be wise to listen. Well, word on the street is that you've got about 40 gold on your head as you're a Thieves Guild member in good standing. I think I should be able to fix that for you for 20 gold. Yeah, here you go. 
Thanks. If it was only the bounty, I would pay it, but losing uh, my Helm of the Savior's Hide and my other things, that's, that's no bueno. I love this helmet. Very good, very good helmet. I should enchant more things, come to think of it. Just enchant some of my glass stuff. What's my current thing? I have an Ascended Sleeper in here. I should do that, actually. I'm getting distracted with other things. That's how Morrowind works. Oh. How much money do I have currently? I have 14,000. So I can get up to 14,000 worth of stuff and then sell 14,000 worth of stuff to you. Okay, I would like this with Oh, this is kind of this kind of decent enchantments. Okay, I want um I want constant effects. Constance effect, fortify, endurance, fortify strength. Okay, so I can get five strength. For 13k. Waste enchantment slots, though. Let me. Okay, this doesn't have a lot of enchantment on it, so. Uh, constant effect, fortify astrobeat strength. And can I get something else on here? Like lightning shield? No. Restore fatigue? Also no. Restore health? Okay, getting adding more things makes it cost a lot more, so. Just a plus two strength caress. Uh, was born with glass bones and paper skin. And then I can sell some stuff. She's got uh, a lot of money. Sell you a bunch of stuff. What am I wearing on my feet currently? Oh yeah, these. They weigh more than glass boots. Just sell these. I could get more from them, but that's fine. Alright, so I got a new... Got new armor. Fortify strength too. It's not incredible, but... Two strength is two strength, you know what I mean. Gives me more health, more damage. How wonderful. I can carry more. Pretty good. And then when I get another get another soul that can let me use constant effect enchantments, I'll go buy another enchantment. Okay, so I'm just going to quick save again in case I somehow get a bounty for some reason. I'm gonna get blue two, uh, the two people that I already talked to and got to agree with me. I'm just gonna go do that again real quick. This fortifies speed, right? What if I use those boots to move slightly faster? Where are they? Yeah, now I can move a bit faster. Yes, I'm Hortator, thank you. 
then I talked to the other person that was on the other side. Yes, I am Hortator. Mind your tongue, Delvani. Okay, I need to talk to two more people. I need to talk to Minor Anabar, and I need to talk to whoever was in the council hall. Anabar. Moravane. Okay, Brera Moravane. She's the one that's in the council hall somewhere that I need to talk to. It's not you, right? No. So what do you want? Mind your dog. What is this about? I don't know where this person is though. Outlander. What do you want? Okay, Outlander, but make it quick. Speak, Traveler. Where is the counselor? Is she in the hostel? What's a hostel? No. this person is. Is she in a house somewhere? Is she over here? That was the hostel that I was just in. Mind your dog. Let's Delvani. hear it. They did say she's somewhere in the council hall, right? I'm not losing my mind about that. Speak, traveler. Gal Sagindu is not the person that I'm looking for. More of in quarters. I've got better things to mind do your so dog, Delvani, if you don't mind. Mistress Brara Moravin. Yeah, can you name me Hortator? Athens Serethi says he believes your story and believes you can be trusted. I still have my doubts, especially with these rumors that you are a spy for the Empire, but life cannot be lived without risks. I agree, we need a Hortator, and I see no better candidate than you. So let the record show that Counselor Moradin confirms Sharia Lightfoot as Hortator of House Redoran. I've got better things to do, so if... Easy enough. So now I just need to convince Minor Arabar and then kill uh, Speak, Venom. My phone beeps at me once again. Okay, where's Minor Arabar? Yeah, I get it. I'm a member of a rival house. Can you, like, not? I've been here before. Why was I here before? I've got better things to do, so if you don't mind, let's move this along. Did I have a main quest in here? Oh, no, I had a Thieves Guild quest in here. Uh, well, hopefully they don't know. What do you want, Outlander? I do not have the time or the patience to answer all your childish questions. How do you want expect me to fulfill my duties to House Redoran if you keep interrupting me? My time is precious and cannot be wasted on idle chatter. Well, speak up and quickly or I shall have to teach you a lesson on the virtues of brevity. I have spoken with Arthur Sarathi. He believes your story and says you can be trusted. I have known Athen Sarathi since he was a child and I have absolute faith in his judgment. Please accept my apologies for not seeking you out and accepting you at once. Forgive me for also for believing these rumors about you being an Imperial spy. You have my vote. Minor Arabar hereby confirms Sharia Lightfoot as Hortator of House Redoran. 
tell the other counselors that I've given you my blessings. Okay, so that's everyone, except for Venom. And Venom is probably unlikely to accept, so we're going to have to fight him. I have to do a little duel. Time to do, -do, 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 -do duel. So let's go and see if we can find him. Ignore the corpses on the ground. You may speak. They're not. That's not my fault. Haven't I heard of you? Hi. Making sure my bounty is zero. You may Outlander. speak. Yes, what do you want? So you have the support of all the other councils for the title of Redoran Hortator. You have played your tricks with the other counselors, so they will not work on me. This has gone far enough. If you are not a coward as well as a fraud, I will put a stop to your ambitions at the arena in Vivek. I will meet you there if you dare face me in a duel to the death. Sounds good to me. Let's head to Vivek and duel this guy to the death. I love dueling people to the death. Especially those that kidnap people. Kidnapping's wrong. And bad. And I am just and good, because I am a thief. So we haven't been to the arena yet. Uh, the arena in Morrowind, vanilla Morrowind, is not very complex. I don't even think you can do anything in it other than like specific quests. Um, the last time I played, there was a mod that let you join the arena and do like arena quests fight people similar to the arena in Oblivion. I don't know if that mod is in this mod list that I'm using or not. Um, I kind of just installed the mod list and didn't pay attention to what I was installing, which is a, a bad decision. Don't do that when you're um, installing a mod list. Make sure you know what you're installing. I suppose I'm listening. But I did it, and now I'm here. The arena, I believe, is somewhere like on the eastish side of Vivek, in its own canton. Loading area. Uh, yeah, the arena's over here. So let's head there and fight this guy. Is it that one? I think it's this one. Ow. Ow. Don't mind me just breaking my kneecaps. This is the arena. Uh, I don't know how to get to. Talk is free. What do you want? Where I need to go here? I don't remember how to enter the arena proper. something okay this looks like the arena that I'm used to um, like the arena mod that I'm used to from last time you join a team you fight some fights I might do that eventually oh, I found the um the guy I'm supposed to be fighting I also found really bad frame rates I also found that per per paralyzing your opponent is usually pretty good That did a lot of damage. Okay, goodbye. I 
did it. I killed Bull and Venom in a duel. It is unfortunate, but there was no other way. I don't think that's unfortunate at all. Let's see, I got his key. I got some shoes. I got a Daedric Diakatana. I got some other stuff. Ebony. Yeah, that's some good. That's that good shit right there. Uh, my inventory is suddenly very full. All right, how am I going to fix this weight problem? I'm keeping all the ebony stuff, you can't stop me. Let me start by repairing. Maybe once I use all these armor hammers, I'll have enough space. I do. Uh, I wasted a lot of that because my fatigue was low, but that's fine. I got plenty of armor or hammers. Let me wait for an hour for my fatigue to regenerate and head back to Alderun to become the Hortator of House Redoran. Now that we've killed the leader, Kill the leader of House Redoran so that we can become the leader of House Redoran. No, not this time. But we are the Hortator of House Redoran. The war leader. Mind your tongue, Delvani. Mind your tongue, Delvani. Watch your back, Delvani. Yeah, I get it. I'm a Telvani. Deal with it. The Council of House Redoran is in agreement. You are the Hortator of House Redoran. I hope you are as successful in persuading the rest of Morwent in a night against Dagathur and his blighted hosts. On behalf of the House and the Council, take the Ring of the Hortator, a token of your office. By this ring, others shall know you as our chosen champion. I, have also, I also have a sealed package for you. I do not know what it contains, but I received it from a contact in the highest ranks of the Temple. My guess is that it has something to do with the temple's position on your claim to fulfill the Nereverine prophecies, and here is a copy of a recent public notice identifying you as an Imperial agent. I am satisfied of your curiosity, of your sincerity, but I warn you that others might not be so understanding. So we got the Ring of the Hortator. Fortify health, not bad. And we also got some uh, public notice. Yep, this is basically the temple saying that we're just an Imperial spy and not to believe us. And here is a note from the Archdeacon. A package sealed with an anonymous wax seal containing a single page unsigned note on the cover of the package. The Outlander lately proclaiming his identity as the Nereverine to be delivered with haste. The assertions made being in direct contradiction of the doctrine of the Tribunal, namely that you are the Nereverine, the reincarnation of the sainted Lord Nerevar, are, in addition to being against Temple teaching, incredible and implausible in the extreme. The revelations made by the Inquisition, namely that you yourself are in fact an agent of the Imperial Intelligence Service, otherwise known as the Order of Blades, Lately made with substantial evidence by the High Lord Arc Ordinator Beryl Sala, further calls into question the validity of and motivations behind your claims. However, as incredible as your claims are, as much as they are in direct contradiction of the teachings of the Temple and tainted as they are by the influences to be made upon your close association with the covert policies and interests of the Emperor, the interests of the Temple and its leadership, and in particular the interests of his immortal Lordship Vivek, are best served by a close and personal examinations of the claims being made, and close and personal examinations of the motivations and character of the claimant. The temple, through its examinations of its records, in particular the records of the Hyographa and Apocrypha, is intimately familiar with the many and varied claims of signs and feats that would mark the Nereverian according to prophecy, Therefore, in the event of the fulfillment of certain of those most remarkable and scarcely credible claims, namely that the claimant should at one time be the acknowledged holder of several ancient titles of power and authority of the dumber people, to wit, Hortator of the Great Houses and Nereverine of the Ashlander Tribes, the Temple proposes that the claimant of the identity of the Nereverine shall prevent himself for inspection before his reverend honor 
Archcanon Lord Thaler, Sir Yoni, High Archcanon and Chancellor of Vivek, Archcanon of the Cannery of Vardenfell, Archpriest of the High Fane for a review and consideration of his claims and identity. However, until such time as the claimant actually has been named Hortator separately and jointly by the Three Great Houses of Ardenfell, and at the same time been named the Nerevereen separately and jointly by the Four Tribes of the Ashlanders, there is no purpose in reviewing or discussing these claims. Because the Temple's official position on the prophecies of the Nerevereen and in the interests of preserving the security of the claimant from those parties who might wish to do him harm, it is convenient that the claimant of the title Nerevereen shall prevent himself in secret to Archcanon Saryoni in the Archcanon's private quarters in the High Fane of Vivek to signify agreement with these terms and conditions for a meeting that the Archcanon, the Nerevereen claimant, may prevent himself to the healer of the High Fane of Vivek. Then so in Duelace and the necessary arrangements will be made. Once again, no purpose is served by a meeting until the claimant is named Hortator of the Three Great Houses and is named Nerevereen of the Four Ashlander Tribes. Written at the request of and in the name of his reverend honor, Tholor Suryani, Archcanon and Chancellor of Vivek, Delano Loren, Priest of Vivek, Assistant to the Archcanon. Holy shit, that was wordy. What do you think of our city, Outlander? So basically what he's saying is, once we are named the three... Once we are named Hortator of the Three Great Houses and Nerevereen of the Four Ashlander Tribes, we can go seek a meeting with the Archdeacon of the Tribunal Temple, and maybe they'll stop being so hostile towards us. Maybe. Uh, well, we got one down here and one down in the tribes, and next time we're going to probably work on another Great House's Hortator. See you guys then.